I have this animation and suppose that I have a button on here and my button baseball pulls up a baseball. If I click on football, it pulls up a football. But my mouse is a standard white arrow. And suppose I want to make my own type of um, cursor. So this lesson will add um, um, your own custom cursor. And I'm going to go ahead and add a new layer at the top. Let's call it cursor. I want to be on frame one. I'm going to go ahead and insert new symbol. I'm going to create my own cursor. It cannot be a button. It needs to be a movie clip. I'm going to call this arrow. And when you're making this, I'm going to use a brush. Um, you can design it any way you want, but you do. There's a registration symbol right here, smack dab in the middle. And I kind of want to be below it, and I kind of want to be to the right of it. So I'm going to start down here. I had to undo because it was a little bit too close to the registration symbol. That's a little bit too high. So I made my own little arrow right there. I'm going to have a little bit of an animation that goes with a simple animation. So on five, I'm going to go ahead and insert a keyframe and just change the color of the arrow. I'm going to do the same thing for the next couple of keyframes, just adding a keyframe and changing its color. And that's probably good with this last one. So it's just a blinking arrow, and that's going to be my, my main cursor. So I made this arrow. I want to go back, so there's a button right here. And it's not on the scene because it's just in a library. It's in a temporary position. So I wanted to go on frame one, and I'm going to pull it from the library. So my library is here, or if you don't see it, you got to go to Window, Library to open up the library. And I have this arrow symbol here, and it looks a little bit different. This is the symbol for a movie clip. I'm going to go ahead and drag this on the screen anywhere. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even have to be on the stage. It's really big, so I'm going to make it smaller. And at this point, I'm going to flip back to my properties panel. So up here is my properties panel. And if you, you don't see that for some reason, window properties. Um, I got to give it an instance name. I'm going to call it Arrow. Very clever name for this. Sticking with the same thing. And then I need some code. So I have the code in the link description. The code looks like this. It's just two lines of code. Um, it's hiding the current mouse, and it's going to grab something called a cursor, which we're going to rename. So I'm just going to highlight that and copy it from the description. Go back to animate on frame one of my cursor layer, I'm gonna to go to my actions panel and add this code. The problem is I just named, gave the, this arrow has the instance name of arrow. So I gotta come in here and change this to arrow that has to match the instance name given, just like a button. And then from now I can play the movie, test it out. And I have this blinking arrow the custom cursor and when I click on my button it works so one more last note about the custom cursor I can come back here to edit it double click on it maybe I want to add a layer and audio clip around frame 15 to have a sound so when I I click um, and it gets no I don't want to add a sound to this I would want to add a, a sound to my button but um, maybe I want to change this in some way. I want to edit the color. I want to. I want it to tween instead of just um, flashing. I want it to tween between the colors, so or shape tween or do something different. So I do want to edit it, um, and then I can go back to my scene. So you can edit the mouse cursors. The other thing you can do is double click on this. This registration symbol is important because. It's what is clickable. So like when I move my mouse and it's using this cursor, that's the hit place. So we want to just check where that is. And that's why when we build this arrow, um, I want it to be below and to the right because normally that's where people are coming to click. So um, that's kind of, it, it pays attention off of that registration symbol right there. 
that's where the hit area is going to be.